Okay, welcome back. Um, we're going to continue with um, dealing with some capture templates and capturing in org mode, which I find really useful. Uh, a few cool things for today. So the first thing is um, just to go over a couple things from before. Notice that I had um, I had a problem storing blog topics before. Um, I've got blog topics here, but um, it actually saved them down here. And the reason for that was because I didn't have this colon at the end, so it wasn't mad. Yeah, there's a colon here, up here, but no colon over here, and so it couldn't find that entry, so it put it out down at the bottom. But now this will work if I do Control CC, make a blog entry, new blog entry, whatever, Control C, Control C, and there we have our new blog net here. Okay, good stuff. So basically, that's um. Uh, that's the capture template. We did the screencast yesterday, etc. cetera. Um, but let me show you something else that I find really cool, which is this code here, this um, make capture frame. So that's this stuff here. The no flat is used here, that package. And then these um, advice for when you uh, finalize and destroy the capture. Um, I don't remember where I found this. I found this online on someone else's blog, and I'm going to try to find it again, at which point I'll post it on my blog referring to it. But what this basically does is it gives you an Emacs command. If I do escape x make capture frame, it pops up a new capture frame. And the reason this is cool is, I just close the frame, is what you can then do is you can then bind a keyboard shortcut in your operating system Oops. I'll just um, cut and paste this somewhere um, uh, put this up here um, and that'll run Emacs client and run the make capture frame and that's really cool because what that lets you do is I have it bound to F1 and if you break just hit F1 it pops up the capture frame, and you don't even have to have Emacs visible, which is really, really, really nice. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is Control CC. You know, that's like Control CC here brings it up, and I don't know how to bind Control CC in my operating system. Um, so I'm using F1 for that. I'll figure out something, make that a little bit better at some point. Um, so. The other thing I want to show you here relating to this is I've got links.org, and this is a file for my links. And links in org mode, it's just markdown, kind of. It's, it's basically a square brackets with two square brackets in it. And um, the second square bracket is the description. The first is the link, so that's a web link. And if you have this, you can just open it with control C, control O, or you can um, click on it. And um, so basically I've got this, um, a nice thing that I have here is I've got this um, capture template. So I brought this up from Arial just a minute ago. Let's do control C to copy that using the regular cut, you know, copy thing. And I'll hit F1 to bring up a template, to bring up a capture. I'll do L for link. And then it says clipboard kill value. That's because come over here for a second. Uh, actually, let's not do that because let's finish this here. Uh, yeah, I messed up with, uh, let's, we'll start this from the beginning again. Because here, for a link, one of these, I think it's probably the caret L. The caret T is a timestamp um, and the caret L is the, uh, is the um, I believe that's to store the link. So if we come back here again, let's mark that, hit F1. We do a link. We will paste the value, which is our aerial entry. Um, hit enter on that, and it'll be, uh, let's say, save org structs. We can now add to this if we want. Uh, the tag is going to be Emacs. We can, again, edit this some more. Control-C, Control-C. And bang, we have it labeled with the Emacs tag. Now, the cool thing about this, it's an org mode file. So I can edit this as an org mode file. Uh, one of the things I can do is um, control, basically I can refile this. Um, if you don't remember, you can always look here, edit structure, refile subtree, control C, control W. And I know I got my Emacs links down here. Um, so control C, control W, 
let's store that under Emacs links and we'll see that that's down here. Um, there are also ways of viewing this as a sparse uh, tree. Um, I don't remember how to do this. Um, it's not with hide show. Oh, spar well, uh, sparse tree. That's a to-do keyword. Um, okay, I don't remember this. Uh, I'll put it into the blog post at some point. Uh, but the cool thing about this is now that we've got these links, did not mean to hit hit that with the mouse. Um, is we can open them using uh, you know Control C O, or we can open them by um, you know or by um, by clicking on them, and we can edit them, and we can cut and paste and do all the cool org stuff. You know we can be like oh I don't want to look at this stuff right now. Close that, close that, etc. But another really cool thing here is. Let's say you want your bookmarks in your web browser. So I've got one other configuration here, which is this guy here. I set in my environment, my browser is Chromium browser. If I didn't have this, it would have done the following with Firefox. But what I can do is org lets you export uh, to different things. So exporting here, control C, control E. So if I do control C, control E, it says, how should I export this? Well, I could export this as LaTeX, let's say. Um, so LaTeX and O to open it. And here it is as LaTeX and whatever. Um, and I could also, Control C, E, export it to ODTs, let's say for you know, doc, you know, Word files, whatever, plain text, etc. But I can also do it to HTML. Now this is that stuff from Reveal that I showed way back when, when I started this series. So I'm going to do this to H for HTML and I'm going to open it as an HTML file. And now all my links are here in this web file and I'm going to right click on this to open in a new tab and they all work. But what I can do, which is cool here, is I can actually bookmark this in the bookmarks bar. So links.html is now a bookmark here. It just goes to my file system. It's like, oh, I need my bookmarks. Bang, and they're all here. And my first one here is org mode. So it's the exact file. So if we come in here later on, and let's say I say like, uh, let's put a new guy in here. My blog, here it is, and I can export this again. Um, I just exported the file. So when I click links HTML, it's here. So if you actually want to stay within here, and there are ways of fancying it up with, um, you know, with some CSS and different HTML around it. But it's a really, really cool feature. Um, so I really, uh, you know, I never, I used org mode for a bunch of years, and I never really used capturing. Um, but in the last year or so, I'm using it all the time. I'll show you later how I use it for my scheduling a little bit more in depth and how I link that to, um, to Google Calendar. Um, but that's it for today. Uh, so it's really cool. It looks intimidating, but if you just go through the documentation, it's, yeah, it's a bunch of keys and you know, like the percent s and whatever in the templates, but it really isn't hard. Um, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, again, I find this really useful for my productivity and I hope you do as well. Okay, that's it for today.